Hey everybody, my name is Fort Kiz, you know Daniel, and I would like to welcome you to Hollow Knight by Team Cherry. This is the early beta of a game that was funded on Kickstarter. Uh, the beta came out just a couple days ago, got a hold of it, and I have got to say, this is something very, very awesome that we, uh, that we have here. So we are gonna hop in, we're gonna make a new game. I've actually played maybe half an hour of this. And this is going to be basically like a, a first impressions overview of what's going on here. Uh, so a bit about the game itself. It is a 2D metroidvania with combat inspired by Dark Souls. Uh, it's hard combat, it's very timing sensitive, and it's got all the awesome exploration and level design of a metroidvania, which you could kind of say that uh, Dark Souls is, but we'll, we'll get into that whole business later. Uh, the game is beautiful. All of the stuff is hand animated, I believe, through Flash and a mixture of probably Flash and After Effects to get all of the everything looking how it does. But it is absolutely gorgeous. This the the visuals themselves are spot on and beautiful, and all the ca the character designs are super adorable. Look at me! I got my little I got my little sword. The physicality of the world is awesome. Everything has has its place and everything like exists and feels like it's there and stuff that's along the the front you can actually interact with by by sort of attacking so it's it's really really cool it's also got a, a very nice dreary environment um uh, everything's very it's it's very dark very depressing very silent and uh, the bugs they're so cute i can't get over it i oh uh, oh I love the monster design. I love the pacing of the game. It's my, my first impressions of this art. Quite simply, it is it is awesome. I love what they're doing here. Ooh. There's plenty of places to explore and look around. Plenty of little traps and secrets, and plenty of these things. This is kind of a kind of a tutorial. It tells you that as you so as you kill dudes. You, uh, you gather up little, like, soul energy. You see that, that white bar, or that white bubble in the top left. And you take damage. You you start off with just, uh, four, four points of health. But as you take damage, you can... Wah, you can use that soul that you get from killing baddies to heal yourself. So it's kind of, um... It's kind of like the SS in a way, in that you have to fill it up in order to use it. Um... But it's it's very different in that you can explore and you can regain that health as oh god you can get that health back as you're as you're exploring around and killing things. Now it's the platforming is is really really awesome. The the movement feels great. The way it ties with the combat, the way you can attack in the air, and I'm I'm very excited to see what kind of abilities we get as the game goes on. And so the, the the plot of the game now is that you're like I don't actually know a whole lot. It's it's told very passively, um, but you're this little dude with the with the white helmet with or or white head that may even just be your head, and you're just kind of exploring and you happen upon this town. That's at least what I know of it so far. But something's happened to the town, and you're kind of adventuring, kind of trying to figure out what exactly went down. And the music kicks in. It's so great. Look at this guy. Look at him. Hi. Let's listen to him. Okay, so he tells you what's happened to the town. Everything, people have disappeared. Nothing has not, nothing's gone very well at all for these people. And so he kind of directs you to go and travel down a well. But we're going to rest first. These sort of, they seem to, they seem to function like bonfires so far. But that's the only one I've seen. But you'll, you'll respawn back there. Now there's plenty of little secrets for you to find down here. There are dudes for you to save, people for you to meet and talk to. Puzzle, like kind kind of puzzles, more like world 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 building puzzles, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, got him. And everything you kill gives you these these little coins. I think they might be like pieces of shell, but I I feel like they're gonna work as money later on. I just, I love how much you can beat up stuff in the environment. So in here, we've got our first little bit of passive world building. There's this guy that you can talk to. He's he's also an adventurer, and he's 
looking at this uh, this circle here, this this egg, and he's he's curious about it because it feels warm, and I I can't wait to come and see what's up with that. It, the, the gist of my feelings of this game are I can't wait to see what everything is. I can't wait to really get into it and fight some really really crazy bosses. Oh, there's stuff over here. But all in all, it it plays very very well. It's super easy to pick up. Um, the controls are great. And in this version of it, the control icons are all uh, Xbox controller icons. And I'm having some trouble with my controller. It's actually a... Uh, oh, bad, bad place. My controller is actually, for some reason, making me move left when I plug it in. And that's only in this game, so I'm not sure what's going on. But heads up. You may have some issues with your controller. I use an Xbox One controller and it just it just doesn't work right. So I'm playing on a keyboard and it's a little weird that none of the icons are are keyboard icons. But oh, okay, so this is your this is your first real challenge. The game, much like Dark Souls, very much about learning enemies' moves and your own movement limitations. And oh god, okay. So I've got oh got him. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna heal up. That was, whew, that was a little rough. Uh, jeez. These look at him. Look at him. He gets sad. He gets so sad. I. These are my favorite things in the game. I absolutely love them. They're way too cute, and there are many, many more of them for you to save. So there's plenty of little side things for you to do throughout this. It's, I can't get over it. It's so pretty. What else was there? That's that's pretty much all there is. So we're just going to spend the next few minutes just kind of exploring, having a good time. Uh, like I said, this is currently just the beta version. Um, from what the devs have told me, it's about two hours long. There's that guy that you can talk to. He talks about uh, little nursery rhymes. The demo is about two hours long. Um... But it's not... There, there's still a ways off from completion. I can't... I'll probably have to get something to break this. Maybe... No. There are ways off from completion, so there's plenty more that they're actually planning to add. Uh, personally, I'm... I'm hoping to see a little bit more area variety. I feel like that area that we just came from might go to, like, a crystal cave or something like that. And it'd be really cool. I wouldn't mind if things got a little bit of color for accents later on, but... This is still a very nice aesthetic, and I am honestly interested in seeing how they can take this... Oh, I didn't mean to come down here. How they can take this adorable and dark aesthetic further. Like, I'm really... Oh, damn it. I'm really, really interested to see how they can make cute mixed with dreary. Because they're doing pretty, pretty well so far. I have got to say... And I, I just, I can't wait for more. This is 10 out of 10 so far. Apart for the, oh, well, I will not get those shiny things. Apart from the weird controller issue and the UI not keeping up with what my input is. It's possible that that's a thing. And I just, oh, don't, uh, maybe I did something wrong, but right now it's not, it's not doing the thing. Huh. Okay, so this is... I haven't actually been down here before. This is more baddies than I have faced at once. Oh, we have to heal. Come on. Oh, God, it's... Okay, let's just not get hit. There we go. Much better alternative. Whew, I shouldn't have tried to heal in combat. Come on, that's a, that's a classic. I would like it if there were a dodge mechanic. I don't, I don't have it. Maybe it's an upgrade that you get later. Though it's weird that dodging would be an upgrade if that is the case. Um, yeah, no, I like it. I, it's, it's just, I like it. I like it. There's not much that I would do to improve except those things that I've mentioned. The enemy variety is nice too. It would be cool to have various areas and I'm sure there are various named areas. I just haven't gotten to them yet. There is a map that you get as well. Um, the, the character that you get it from, he's in kind of a church, and he tells you, Oh, this map isn't finished. 
finished yet. I feel like that's kind of the the dev is kind of talking to you going, hey, there's there's gonna be more, don't worry. Don't worry. Or it could also just be a mechanic, like he's got a He's got more work to do on his on his map. Oh god. Uh, heal up. Sweet. All the way healed. We're just gonna drop all the way down here. Because there's some fun stuff down here that I haven't seen yet! Oh, we're actually, uh, I think we made it to him. Yeah, he's right here, this little guy. Look at him with his, he's got a mask on. I like the, the voice acting too. I'm not sure if it's actual legit, um, Japanese or Chinese or Korean, but I, I like that they use it and I feel like it fits very, very well. What was the dang button? M, you have to hold down M on the keyboard, which is really weird given that you use was to move or use the arrow keys to move, actually, and you use Z, X, C, and A for all of your abilities, attacks, jumping, and stuff like that. But here's the map. It's pretty big. I'm not sure where exactly on here we are, but I feel like that's on purpose. Um, it would be nice to have some sort of vague identifier, though, but maybe it's one of those things that as, as you play, you learn it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so be careful. Don't just jump down. Now I know what spikes do. I didn't know that they did that before. Uh, but that is pretty much it. Like I said, very, very solo game. I'm very excited to see what comes from it. And I think that you should definitely follow this. You can find it on Kickstarter. There's a link down in the description below. Also, I will post um, a link to the game's website for you guys to go and check out. Definitely show the devs some love for this one. If you like Dark Souls, if you like Metroid, uh, you will you will like this game hands down it's a short little demo but it's a very very solid more than more than a proof of concept it's about two hours long which is longer than a lot of indie games that exist nowadays oh wow oh wow that is gorgeous all right thank you guys for joining me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more uh, feel free to uh, Drop me the names of any games you think I should check out, either down in the comment section below, or uh, you can you can also drop me a line on Twitter. My handle is at ForkH. Oh my god, he ran fast and I died. My handle on Twitter is at ForkH, and you can also shoot me an email. My email address is fork4h at gmail.com. That is it for this episode. Thank you again for joining me. I will see you later. Bye.